all right youtube shooting this video 115 miles i have on the new maverick r and i wanted to tell you my thoughts on it you'll have to look at the machine because she's a whole lot sexier than i am <laughs> Got a video I just recorded of me riding to the trailhead. And you'll know exactly why I bought my property where I bought my property. But anyway, my thoughts on the new Maverick R. And before I give you that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and where I come from. This is my fourth side-by-side. -side. My first side-by-side -side was a 2017 uh, X3 Max RS. My second side-by-side, -side, I still own it, is a Defender Max. My third side-by-side -side was an RS. And I love that machine. But I was rear-ended by a drunk driver riding that machine, and it got totaled. Just in time for the Maverick R to come out. And I thought, as much as I loved my X3... I'm going to get me a Maverick R. It's supposed to be better. I have to say, I'm not so sure. You'll have to make your own decision. This machine is every bit as noisy as an X3, which that never bothered me. But it's not nearly as smooth. I would have to say that an X3 is a lot smoother with the belt drive as opposed to the transmission. Maybe... Uh, with some driving and some breaking in and maybe some updates on the computer. Maybe they can smooth it out. Or maybe that's just to make the clutches last. I'm not a techie guy and I don't know exactly how the dual clutch transmissions work. So maybe they have to shift hard to, to make them last. Uh, but it's very noisy on the shifting. Uh, of all the modes... Comfort is nice, but it's kind of like a lazy pedal. It's not, it's almost insensitive. And you really feel like, okay, baby, I'm, I'm mashing, go, go, go. And then finally she's like, okay. And then she goes. Sport, I love that one. That one's, that one's pretty good. I uh, like that one a lot. Sport Plus is herky-jerky. All Sport Plus is good for is if you're, from a dead stop to full throttle and that's how you plan on doing it because you are not going to get it smooth uh i have a this is the uh xrs model so it's got the the smart shocks on it and on the test drive from the dealership i got it error code took it back they plugged it into buds and they couldn't pull up any code uh the screen inside the machine i don't know if i can show you that still shows there's a fault with the suspension i'm gonna have to take it back tomorrow which is monday and have them look at it and see if they can clear it out let's see if it'll show up on the faults or maybe maybe i'll get lucky and a mechanical watch this and he'll be able to tell me what this code is i have to say it's kind of nice that the uh dash will actually tell me what the codes are come on are you not gonna let me do it with the door open Let's see, there we go we'll go here the vehicle to forgive me I'm getting used to the machine there it is see and now it's showing no faults it comes and it goes I'll have to stop and get the get the fault code off of it when it shows up again. 
but that's that's bothersome and then i'm a trail rider and then on top of that i don't ride fast tops off road 30 35 miles an hour and for whatever reason now the uh uh steering wheel isn't straight any longer it's slightly cocked to the left i don't know if that's a minor adjustment that they can do back at the dealership or if you know something didn't come quite straight and i didn't notice it right away but i'd have to say my conclusion on the freaking on the maverick r is the x3 is good it's really good and i'm not so sure that for the extra money where this machine's at right now that it's actually worth it i mean if you just got to have the latest and the greatest and i mean don't get me wrong it's a sexy looking machine i mean look at her that thing is freaking awesome she's smooth off-road but so was an x3 um I don't know, it really kind of puts me in a conundrum as far as where a guy goes right now. The, uh, because I mean, it's a lot of money for one of these. And, you know, you can get an X3 decked out with a, a lot of accessories for what this thing costs. And that's, that's another thing that I didn't like. There is nothing, absolutely nothing in the aftermarket for this yet. I've tried S3. S3's got stuff coming. Uh, UTV Stereo. They just bought a machine same time I did. Um, they're actually mocking stuff up and figuring it out. Uh, another thing that I don't like about the machine is to put accessories on this machine and use all of the cool buttons that they have. It's $2,600 $2, is what they quoted me for... The modules to plug into this machine and you still don't have an accessory then you got to buy the accessory after that to be able to make it work with the smart system so just because it can be smart i guess technically it doesn't come smart you got to spend 2600 bucks to make it smart i don't know cam and M, i think you can do a little bit better than that for what a guy's spending on this machine, you probably could make it plug and play. Dealerships could do better with having some accessories when you go down there to buy your brand new machine. Now, I wanted a windshield. Uh, you notice I don't have a windshield because they didn't have one. I wanted mirrors. They didn't have mirrors, but luckily I've had X3s in the past. And and with a, a shim in there, a rubber shim, these will work. Because you can't see out of the back of this machine. And although the backup camera is an is a improvement over not having anything, the backup camera is not great. It, you know, most vehicles have lines on them that tell, show you uh, where your vehicle would go inside of that picture. Well, this is just a really wide view camera. And, you know... Short of it being completely clear behind you, you're not quite sure where your vehicle is going to go. Um, you know, there again, it's a side by side, but for the money. I mean, really, that's what it comes down to for me. It's it's the money. When you're going to spend the kind of money that a guy spends on these machines, you either have to be dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. Shout out to uh, Warrant. Love that song. Uh, or, you know, just not care where your money goes. And, I don't know. But the price difference between a Maverick R and an X3, you know, there's going to be a lot of... There's probably going to be some haters that say, well, you should have got an X3. Well, I really thought that I was pretty much getting an X3, but better. And they're just really different, different monsters. Um... That's my thoughts on it. So, got a fault code on my suspension. Rear suspension saying that it is not plausible. Have a... Uh, the steering wheel is not quite straight anymore. And I guess we'll find out tomorrow. But 100 and, 115 miles. And she'll get a lot of miles put on her fast as long as she holds together. Because I trail ride a lot. I'm, I'm an old fart and... 
I got nothing better to do. But those are my thoughts, and this probably won't get posted to YouTube because I am not a good speaker. I'll probably have to do this 15 times over. I'll probably just shoot a video of me trail riding and and dub over that for you guys. And look at that. I mean, look at that. Come on, guys. 55 grand. You can't make the plastic a little bit better than that. I mean, I think that's going to get ripped off. But, uh, yep, those are my thoughts.